All right, this is a 2010 Honda Fit. I hooked up a reverse light camera to the vehicle. The camera cost about 12 bucks. So the camera went through here and the ground went here. And it looks like this. The setup looks like this. So on the black end, it goes black and red. I want the RCA jacks, so black and red, and the other one's red. And the other one is yellow and black, which leads all the way to the front at a, at a, how to get that all the way to the front and then went through here. So went through here. For me to string this along, I had to use a, a wire hanger. It was pretty easy coming in here but it was hard getting it through here. It was kind of sticky. Then I went through here and I strung it all the way down here. Sorry, I can't show you this. And then these are the tools I use to pop out the stereo and stuff. But so this pops in here like this. This tool is like, it came in a pack of four and it was like $4.99. So I tapped into the reverse light it was like a T-tap kind of thing. And as you can see, it came off with a red and, and black. You'll see it. And the reverse light I tapped in, it's it's that one. And the wire color is on the left. It's not the black one. I think the black one's ground, but I tapped into the, the green and blue or something like that. So it was the green and blue. It's a pain in the ass pulling it out. So this wire, I tapped it into... So it's, it's the red and black that flows off of the black RCA jack, right? And then I tapped it into this yellow one right here, which is the red. I, so there's, so I tapped it into there. Then it went here. Then this one goes all the way to the back. I had to buy an extension at Lowe's. It's a, uh, because the wire wasn't long enough. It was kind of a little short. I mean, it still did the trick, but it was a little short. But this is like a, it's a stereo wire. It was like 87 cents. And it came in like two strings and I split it and it's a stereo wire. So it's like 18 cents a foot or something like that. And I bought five foot. So it's like five feet long and it did the trick, went all the way down. And then, and then I went to here. The hard part was getting this wire to go into this roof, right? This, this liner right here, because this pillar, this pillar caught it. So so I strung it along from, from here. So I peeled this back right here. So this got peeled back, right? And it goes, and you can feel underneath with the, um, the coat hanger. So I went a little bit at a time and I went over there to pass this pillar. So as long as you get past this pillar, everything was easy. So I removed this. This is pretty easy too. Right, I removed this. Then I strung everything along this line right here, a little bit at a time. This was the easy. As soon as you get past this pillar right here, everything goes easy. So you, you wanna pop this back. I wanna pop it back. I don't wanna fuck with it right now. I mean, I don't wanna mess with it right now. So pop it back and it goes through there. All right, and that goes right back in. It's my first time doing this video, or video along on YouTube, so sorry for the quality. Then I just kind of strung it through 
to the top of the pillar right here. Just pull this pillar back. Then it got really easy and it just went along here. But try to keep it, try to keep it flowing right. Try to keep the string flowing through here. And then it just went down here into this pillar. And then I went through here. I went through here. This got a little tricky, but I eventually did it. And then it just strung through here. And then I strung it through here and up. And there's plenty of strings to go that way. And that is part one of the video.